You know, I'm here with Jamie Varner, who is repping the WEC still. I mean, that, that is a history, a rich history. That It's nice to see you guys still succeeding and doing, not even succeeding, just kicking butt in the UFC. You know what? I would say probably out of the top six guys in the lightweight division, four of them are WEC guys. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's really crazy to be a part of that. And uh, I don't know if I'm in that top six. I would say I'm in the top ten now, mm -hmm. just because being a guy like Edson Barbosa, who was like a top five, top ten guy. But... Yeah, being a part of WC, we were tough, and it was funny when I was a champ. Everybody's like, "Ah, oh, WC is like the the JV of the UFC." Well, look at Ben Henderson yeah. is now he's the champ. You got Donald Cerrone and Anthony Pettis, who are just kind of on the waiting list to you know fight for a top contender spot. And uh, Anthony Anjouani's real tough, and now now I'm here, so it's crazy to see all these tough guys doing great things in the UFC. Well, and it's nice to hear you praising Cerrone. I know that's you know your old rival and stuff, but it is true. I mean, these guys are doing really good things. And, and proving that that organization was for real. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I still don't like the guy. I don't. I don't like the guy. I feel like he's just got. He he's not a he, his character. He lacks. He lacks character. But he's an amazing fighter. Yeah. You cannot argue with his his just ability and his will to win and just to, his just technique and skill. I mean, he's he's a great fighter. He's a tough fighter. But um, you know, I wish nothing but success for these guys because it only makes me look better. Yeah. Well, let's talk about you, Jamie. This is a big win for you. And I saw you the other day, and, and you know, you, you're you sort of liberated. You have this big smile, like, look, I got nothing to lose. They bring me in here. Everybody expects me to lose. So if I lose to this guy, no big deal. I mean, big, you know what I'm saying? And then if you win, though, boom, huge thing. Well, losing is obviously, you know, it, it attacks our pride. We don't we don't want to lose. But, yeah, I, I really came into this fight trying to just be positive. That's one thing that's probably changed in the past couple of years is just, I'm only focusing on the positive. I'm not listening to all the criticism and all the all the bad mouthing that's going on. Uh, I just want to I just want to go out here and fight and uh, do what I love. I'm chasing that dream to be the best. I, I couldn't quite be the best in wrestling. Wrestling was my sport. Uh, I wrestled Division One. I. I was never never a national champion. So this is like the one thing that I'm trying to still chase to be the best at. And I hope to one day to have that have that weird conversation with my coach and figure out how we're gonna work out me and Ben training and then having to fight each other for the world title. So uh, it's just, it's great to be back. It's great to be a part of it. And yeah, it was a win-win situation for me. I didn't care. I mean, I, I wanna win. I didn't wanna lose, but you know, I lose Edson Barbosa, I'm supposed to lose Edson Barbosa. I beat Edson Barbosa. All right, catapults my career. I'm back in the top 10. What do you think it is that, that switched in your life? I mean, you have a lot of highs and lows. So what do you think it is that kind of got you back on the right path? You know, life in general, it doesn't matter if you're a fighter, you know, a construction worker, a janitor. I mean, it, life is a roller coaster ride of ups and downs. Uh, I would say, you know, being a fighter and just having the 2010, having the year that I had and hitting rock bottom, getting cut from the organization, not being brought back over to the UFC, that was, it's lonely. It's lonely down there at the bottom. And I, I had to kind of find myself and I had to figure out whether I want to be a fighter or what I want to do with my life. And um, I just surrounded myself with the right people. I was in the gym, I was training and they're like, hey, you want to fight? Yeah, yeah, why not? I'm training, I'm working out, I'm in decent shape, may as well fight. And I started fighting again and now I'm back in the UFC and just beat a guy who is arguably a top 10 guy. So how much damage did you take? I know you were talking about your leg not feeling too good. <laughs> God, that guy kicked so hard. And he kicked me in the same spot a couple of times. But yeah, my leg hurts a little bit. But I was circling, I was circling to the, to my left, his right, because I wanted to, I want him to throw that kick out. I was hoping to either one catch him with the right hand as he was kicking or take him down, or maybe check him. So to defense, make it make it maybe hurt his leg a little bit so he wouldn't stop kicking me. But um, you know, it was it definitely hurts. He kicks hard, he's super fast, and I would be scared to fight him again I'd be just as nervous even even though I just beat him mm -hmm. I would still be nervous to fight him again he's a tough dude great and, competitor and lastly that is going to affect your your post fight party and don't you think a little bit with the leg in the club you know what I'm gonna go hang out with my mom my, my family doesn't drink so I'm gonna go see them since the time with them I'm not really thinking about the party uh I, I mean, I, I'm having my very first soda that I haven't had in like two months. Yeah. So uh, it would be great to go on out, go on and have a Bud Light with some of my buddies, but we'll see. All right. Well, congratulations. Great win. Thank you. Thank you so much.